discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hi, I'm, uh, my name is Charles Hong. Um, I go by name Chaz, and, and I am the Director of Cardiology Research, um, Dr. Shiroki Professor of Medicine at University of Maryland um, School of Medicine. Um, I'm also in the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine within the Department of Medicine. The big issue that uh, we face as a cardiologist is that um, we have about six and a half million Americans who suffer from heart failure. And there's not much new drugs coming off the pipeline to address this huge uh, unmet medical need. And so my long-term goal of our research, uh, uh, my laboratory is to develop new therapies that target um, at least a component of uh, this heart failure to uh, discover new drugs and new therapies for human heart diseases. We've been taking advantage of the latest advances in um, cellular reprogramming, whereby we take um, differentiated tissue types, either fibroblasts or uh, blood cells from patients with heart disease, um, and we turn them into pluripotent stem cells. This is a technology called induced pluripotent stem cells. We can um, differentiate these stem cells into cardiac uh, muscle tissue cells. These can be grown either as a, uh, in, uh, as a tissue uh, constructs or in individual cell types. And our, our laboratory is mainly interested in high throughput drug screens, so that we've been focused on developing platforms to um, um, do um, stem cells in a single cell level. Um, but there's also been trained uh, challenges to this model, namely that although they are human cells, they're not quite like a mature cardiomyocytes. They're more like an embryonic heart tissue. And so there's been a, a, a lot of interest in trying to figure out how to get these cells in a petri dish to resemble more and more like adult uh, heart tissue cells. And in the past, say, five years, there have been a tremendous advances in this field, including advances that we have um, um, generated uh, and, and helped to uh, develop. I think this technology has been um, growing by leaps and bounds. And, uh, I feel confident that soon these cells will be valuable for as a um, faithful um, model of what happens in human beings and that these cells will be useful to predict how drugs may improve uh, function of our heart cells. I think that way um, we'll be able to develop and design drugs that can actually translate into um, a therapy for 6 million people, Americans who have heart failure. Um, and having said that, um, I did get funding from the uh, Maryland Stem Cell Research Foundation. Um, that funding allowed us to continue in our research in this uh, cutting edge uh, research in m helping us to better use these uh, stem cell derived cardiomyocytes um, to better faithfully recapitulate the, the human heart tissue. That using the technology that was developed with the help of the MSCR funding, we were able to model a, um, a congenital dilated cardiomyopathy that had, um, that had afflicted a child that was born uh, a few years ago. At the time of diagnosis, um, he was very sick. He was on a heart-lung bypass machine and subsequently um, received a transplanted heart, which is in itself as, as a minor miracle considering this is a tiny infant. And from his tissue, we develop an iPS cells, um, which then we turn into heart tissue cells. And using the technology that was enabled by the MSCRF grant, we were able to turn these cells into more and more mature cardiomyocytes. And, and, and that resembled closer to what we might find in a, um, uh, a full-term infant. And when we did that, 
one thing we learned is that the child's heart tissue never matured. Um, it stayed as a more of a fetal phenotype. We could only find that um, discovery because now we had a technology to mature these cells. And since we're a drug discovery folks, using the same drug, same platform, we discovered a novel series of compounds that can actually rescue this phenotype. The hope is that um, while we don't know whether all that congenital dilated cardiomyopathy are caused by the same developmental defect, but it's a first step towards a, a what we call a um, personalized therapy for children with um, inborn heart failure. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.